In this section, I am going to cover how to use Update to edit your cues in Live on the EOS. And to do this, we will be going through a couple of examples. Now remember that Update is a specific command that takes manual values and then re-updates them to the cue that you specify. Now there may be a time when you either have a manual value that you don't want to update, or you have a non-manual value that you would like to be manual so that you can update it. So let's take a look at how the EOS would allow you to do those things. Just for example, I'm going to make some changes. I'm going to get some manual values here in channels one through three, for instance. If I stopped here and just hit update enter, those new values would store all three of them because they are all manual values. If I wanted, for instance, channel four to also be included in this update, I can use the make man command or make manual command to leave the level where it is, but simply turn it red to indicate that it's a manual value as if I had touched it. And to do that, there's a make manual soft key. So I hit channel four, make man, enter. And the level doesn't change, but it's now red and it will be used in the update command. Now let's look at a situation where I have manual values that I don't want to be included in the update. I can use a command to remove that manual value, although not change the level, and I like to call that break man. And that is using a command by pushing and holding the clear and hitting the enter key simultaneously. So let's do this to channel one. I'm going to say one and clear enter. And it leaves the level where it was, but it removes the manual instruction from that. So it, now it's not in red and it won't be included in the update. Using the clear enter command without specifying a channel clears all manual values that happen to be on the console at that time. So that is how you can make man and break man. An additional feature we want to talk about when using update is the use of the cue only and track button and also the trace button. Now cue only and track, that's pretty self-explanatory. If you're in tracking mode, you can update cue only by using that button. Or if you're in cue only mode on the desk, you can update and track using that button. But there's also a command we want to talk about, and that's called trace, update trace. What update trace will do is go back and find the original move instruction and make the change there. So for example, if we are in a scene and we brought a light to 50% in Q6, and that light has tracked into Q12 and it's still at 50%, we make a change in Q8. And the designer now says, great, I want that light to be at that new level for the entire scene. Instead of you needing to go back and find out which Q put it at that level, or you know where it got its original move instruction, if I just hit update trace, enter, the console will go back and find the source of the original move instruction and make the change there. So that's a great time saver. That is update trace. And finally, we want to look at how you would update your queue when you have referenced data, such as palettes and presets, being used in the queue. And for this, we're going to go to our virtual rig for an example. And I want to focus on our Mac 700s. They are currently in a preset. And you can see that that preset has them focused at a center position and they are in blue. And if I push and hold the data key, I can see that this preset is a combination of hard values, such as intensity, and they're stored directly in the queue. But my focus and color are actually coming from palettes. So let's say I make a change to the focus. The actor has been moved downstage just a little bit. So what I first want to do is grab the lights, and I just want to inch them down a little bit. And now we can see in our channel display that we have manual values for pan and tilt and an R. That R in the cell is telling us that we have referenced information if there is a broken reference. Now when I update, the console is going to ask me what I want to do with this information. And there are three primary things that we can do. So let's take a look at those right now. I'm going to hit update. And in our CIA, we have three options. And those options are listed with uh, the buttons to the right hand side. Let's look at the first one, update all. So I'm going to update using the update all command and press enter. And now in our channel display, you'll see that the pan and tilt values went back to PR1. And if I push and hold data, you'll see that they're still in the palette for down center. So what I've done by using update all is I've updated all the way back to my focus palette down center. So that's your memory cue for update all. It's all the way back to the palette. I'm going to undo that so we can look at the second example. 
so that we have our manual values back. Now I want to update, and this time I'm going to make absolute and enter. And now you can see that make absolute simply breaks the references, and now the focus values, the pan tilt values, are stored as hard values in the queue. Undo one more time. And now I'm going to update using break nested. And what break nested will do is we still see that our focus information is at preset number one. But now when I push data, I can see that the palette is no longer there. So what this did is in the case of layered references, this breaks off that last layer or that furthest layer away, which was the palette. So all I did was update the preset with the hard values. And that is how you would use update to edit cues in live on the EOS.